All right, in this video, we want to show you how to do a memory upgrade for a um, an HP um, touchscreen. This is an Omni 120-1200, but it should work with any of the Omni touchscreen um, desktops. Um, it's actually not as difficult as it would appear, and um, you can actually upgrade your memory with a um, with laptop memory, which they're the uh, the DDR3 memory that you would be upgrading which I'll show you one right here and um, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade it to at least eight so that's a DDR3 the difference is is that the notch is closer to the middle as opposed to a DDR2 where the memory is closer to the end which is on the older laptops and computers so you can see there that's the difference um, so this is the newer one right here and um, so this is a four gig hopefully there's uh, two slots in there I'm sure there's two slots and that there's one empty one and one with four gigs when I open this up it's got uh, four well when I turned it on the diagnostic said four gigs so hopefully it's got an empty slot so I can upgrade it to eight uh, it's not as difficult as it appear you want to get a flat surface and uh, preferably on something that's and it's got some cushion in there so you won't uh, scratch it up or anything like that. There's really only two screws that you need to undo and you'll see them here on the side. So there's one right here and then one on the other far end right here. And when you the only tools you're going to need is a Phillips head, a little small flat head, and then maybe even a couple of these little credit card uh, things those will actually help um, not to scratch up your sides so let's go ahead and start unscrewing these two screws and you'll hear it pop like it's unmounting and as a matter of fact you don't have to take the screw out all the way um, you can keep the screw in there and we'll do the one here on the left And technically that's all you need to do. It should pop off, but unfortunately it's not that easy. Um, there's a little thing here that you're supposed to push in, and this whole this whole cover pops off. And so that's where you have to go start going around and unpopping it. So you could use my card here. as you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, there's actually a little bit of scarring here and that's from me using uh, just to really test it out and see how to open it. Uh, I looked on the website but it just didn't pop off like it said on the HP website. Uh, so I was using this so you can see a little bit of scratching there. You sort of want to avoid that just for cosmetic reasons. And it does take, it does take some muscle. Good pop up there. Let me go around. Start working on the other side.
It's usually the very top of the screen that's the most difficult. But as you can see here, it is coming surely. Slowly but surely. You're not going to break anything if you put a little bit of force to it because as long as those two screws are out, it's the top that's got a better catch to it. There we go. So that popped up and right there. So I'll show you the two parts. This is the this is the back part, and as you can see, there are only two things that were holding it together. Was those two screws, one there, and one one here. Actually, these two. I always get a, usually get a little duster and hit that fan. Well, I'll have it open. Uh, this is the hard drive. Now you can not upgrade the hard drive while you're at it. Um, keep in mind if you do reinstall the hard drive. You know you could put like an SSD drive there. You know maybe like a 128 or something. But keep in mind you do have to reinstall the operating system. So you have to have either the original disc or you have to have a backup copy. That's the DVD. That's the fan of course. Now your memory is going to be under here. So Let's go ahead and get the memory out. And there's a total of two screws, I believe. There's one here on the bottom left. And there's one here on the far right. And that should just pop off. There, all perfect. So that opens up. And so, of course, we have it unplugged so there's no battery. Um, just like I said, it has one chip. So, four gigs. So, it's going to be very easy to go ahead and upgrade to uh, six or eight. You might could try going up to using an 8 gig chip. They do make the DDR3 into 8 gigs as well. Um, of course, it's got to be your operating system has to be at least 64 bit. You could try an 8 gig on it, and if say an 8 and a 2 or an 8 and a 4, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and do an 8 and a 2. I'm sorry, a 4 and a 2. So should have I should have a 2 in here, hopefully. That's a four. That's a two. So let's go ahead and try that one. You're not going to hurt it if you switch memory around and test it. What's going to happen is if you've got incompatible memory, it just won't turn on at all. It'll just stay black. So you have to take it out and, you know. So that's it. So we upgraded her from four to six. Go ahead and put our screws back in and just reverse everything we just did. There we go. It's just fine now.
go. I noticed the um, it was much quicker starting up, being that I had that extra two gigs. And just to give you a little quick tip to check the diagnosis of how much memory in your processor and everything on your computer. If you don't know this already, hold down the Microsoft icon key and then simultaneously hit the R's and Ralph key. And then what you want to do is you want to type D's and David X D's and David I A G for your run and then hit enter and it's going to ask you a question and you're going to put no on it and then it's going to bring up the specs so you can see there I got an all-in-one now with six gigs so it's pretty quick now thanks for watching